What are you doing? Getting in the cookie tin. <laughs> Who's cookie tin? Mine. <laughs> what did you say to Grandma on the phone? That I was in the pits of hell this morning. <laughs> but then heaven sent by two angels dropped into my lap in the form of chocolate chip rainbow drop. <laughs> Via UPS. <laughs> Hi everybody. I'm Leah. I'm Ron. Also, I'm Ron. <laughs> <laughs> She's Ron. I'm Leah. Hey, we'll give it a try today. It's been a long morning already. <laughs> um, uh, well, I kind of heated things up on a social media site the other day. You? Me. Uh, <laughs> she does. Um, thanks. <laughs> and it was. Well, let me interject real quick. Okay. Yeah, you say you heated things up on the. On what? Social media. Social, say. social media, yeah. Um, and that, the, the things you say really shouldn't heat things up. No. You know, they, they really shouldn't. It's, nope. But. But we can, people can say anything and get other people's yeah. cackles. Yeah. Up. I mean, that's yeah. just the way it works. It is. But what it was simply based um, <clears throat> on, and, you know, there are acts of service that you always do in marriage, and lots of times they can go overlooked. By the other, or they can go overlooked by, you know, other people, and they're not meant to, for other people to see. It's just an act of service that you might you do for your spouse. Mm -hmm. um, but the world has made it very hard to perform any little acts of service for your spouse, especially if you're the wife, because it's you know, looked upon as being subservient and um, just a very negative thing, even in the Christian community. So uh, someone had um, shared a. A, a, a meme, I guess you could call it. It was it like a, it was a, a typed thing that they had took a picture of and then shared it. But it was about um, all the women. And oh, if I get your cackles up in this, okay, save your comments <laughs> because it's okay. Don't take this personally. <laughs> but it was about um, all the women in uh, the U.S. that would be heard across the outdoor get-togethers and the family gatherings. Um, when it came time to go get the food that would say, you know, my husband's got two legs, his legs aren't broke, he can make his own plate. Mm -hmm. And the meme went on to discuss how, you know, it was a sign of respect. And I totally agreed with that, totally. Because I learned that years ago from my mother-in-law. The first time I ever had the opportunity to see a woman wait on a man was in her home and she got her husband's plate and before she got her own. And I never forgot that. And I've always done that for Ron. Um, in or out of the house. And what has occurred over the years, though, I mean, we did a lot of church gatherings, we did a lot of, you know, social gatherings. And how many women do you ever remember seeing doing that for their husband? Uh, none. Um, maybe, I, I say none, maybe, maybe a, a couple of the elderly type women, but pretty much done mm -hmm. yeah, that. so in my eloquent speech I said <laughs> as I shared that particular meme that I was astounded over the years at how many women I saw belly up to the bar <laughs> to get their plate and sit down next to their husband not to give him the plate but to eat in front of him <laughs> um, that irritated a bunch of people maybe I could have phrased it a little more sweetly but, you know, I, I went on to say that that's, to me, that's a simple sign of respect. It's, it's one that we as women can do for our husband. You know, yeah, okay, I know there are going to be men that are going to take advantage of it um, and, you know, be demanding about it. But most men are not going to be like that. I think the majority of men are not going to be like that. Um, but, I mean, what kind of response did you get? I mean, how, you used to have people say things to you all the time. Well, yeah, a lot of the, you know, the... I would be sitting at the at the table you know, at a church uh, social or whatever, and uh, you know, brothers in church, sisters too. Aren't you going to go get something to eat? You better get something to eat before it's all gone. This and that. And, you know, I'll, I'll eat. You know, that's fine. Don't you know? Don't, don't worry about me. And and uh, yeah, they'd make you know comments and stuff, and <clears throat> um, and you know, just uh, a short time would go by, and, and Leo would would bring my plate. And, set it down and she'd go back and, and get her own and she would you know get the the kids as well and um, 
and they would just kind of look at me like, what? <laughs> what is up with this? You know? um, and that was just, that's just how it was. Um, you know, I, I don't remember, to be honest, I don't remember, you know, you mentioned your mother-in-law, my mom, obviously. Um, <laughs> you do remember yeah, your mom. I do, I do remember my mom. Oh, I don't remember her doing that um, with, for my dad. Okay. Um, you know, my folks divorced when I was um, 15, <clears throat> and and then with her um, new husband, they, they've been married for long time. a long time. Yeah, I'm not going to do the math right now, <laughs> well, but I do remember 40, her. Is it 40 years now? <clears throat> you and I. Yeah, are. yeah, they've been married 40, going on 41 or 42 years now. Yeah, mm -hmm. yep. Yeah. Um, but I I do remember her. Um, serving my stepdad, um, but I don't remember her doing that with, you know, with my dad. I don't know. Well, right. maybe, maybe your she father, did, maybe yeah. your father is one that took it for granted. Well, he, <laughs> he might have. He, <laughs> I mean, might have. he could have been one of those. <clears throat> um, but I mean, I, maybe there was. I don't know. But anyway, you know, the the uh, sisters in church and and brothers in church would, you know, just give me a strange look or you know just strange comments and and the kind of the strange thing there is. They've seen Leah do it <laughs> over the years, you know. But we, each we time it was like brand new. A new thing, yeah. It just um, or at a, um, a family get together or whatever, you know. You know, so and so would say we we'll get something to eat, and yeah, you know, well, we've been family for <laughs> you know ten years now, or twelve, whatever, you know. And um, you know, Leah will will get my plate, and and she does, and. Um, it's just the way it is in our home. And, you know, it's, that's a small act of service. It's nothing yes. that Ron ever demanded. Anytime I needed help with the kids, getting their plates or whatever, I mean, he was more than willing. Or he often even asked me, do you want me to get the kids this plate? And I was like, you know, no, I'll, I'll, I'll get them. Um, that's just because that was, you know, it's kind of like a man opening a door. I mean, we, we look right. at it now. I mean, I know there's those women libbers that, you know, no man's going to open the door for me. <laughs> But I think most women, just like I was saying, you know, I think most men would like their wife to wait on them in that, that fashion, mm -hmm. would be considerate. I think most women would appreciate a, a man, you know, taking a moment to um, hold the door. show and, respect, yes, yeah. simply show respect by holding the door, opening the car door, or extending a hand when they're getting out of the car, if things mm -hmm. are slippery or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, so what this has done, what that whole thing has done is brought to a conversation, you know, what are some simple things in our home? that we do as simple signs of respect. Now you gotta remember, we've been together a very long time. Um, we're pushing, we're a couple years away from it, but we're pushing 30 years. Yep. <laughs> yep. So in 30 years time span, it'd be really easy to, A, to lay aside simple signs of respect, or B, mm -hmm. to become um, ungrateful for them, or just take them for granted. Yep. And I don't, you know, I, I've been evaluating many things in our home lately and I I really don't think that those are the cases on either side um, and I'm grateful for that because it again as much time long as the period we've been together it'd be easy for that to happen mm -hmm. um, but some simple things I know I told Ron the other night when we were talking about this I said something that Ron always does and has always done it's it's never been you know it's not a new thing it's not an old thing it's just something he has always done and I every time he says it to me I believe him with all of my heart, when I put food on this table, he says, you know, this was a really good supper, honey, thank you. It doesn't matter if it's um, buttered noodles, you know, it doesn't matter if it's three day leftovers or if it's, you know, a, a turkey dinner. He says it to me. And because of that, over the years, I hear from my children every time we eat, Mama, this was really good, thank you. Um, now, I don't always I don't always believe it myself because <laughs> sometimes it's just you know we just things just aren't the when you think of getting a compliment for a meal you think of it being a meal and that's just you know it's life we're in the real world here and sometimes it's just a sandwich or you know whatever but they it, it never goes unaddressed. Mm -hmm. well, we just try to acknowledge you know what, mm -hmm. you, what you've done and you know, we are thankful for that and, it, and your food is always good <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, you know the uh, 
opening a, a door for, for your wife um, or your mother, um, grandmother. Tell the story about Josiah when he, were, he was young, <clears throat> bringing him up to open doors for me. Yeah, he'd, he'd make sure he'd, he'd get that door open. And it didn't matter if Leah was going for the, the door handle, you know, leaning in to get the door. That He was like a football <laughs> player, man. <laughs> get out of the way. He was going to open that door. Yep, yep. Um, uh, that was that was funny. Yep. Um, but yeah, opening the door for your for your wife or your mom. Um, you know, walking a lot of what we see, uh, like at a, at a grocery store or what at the mall, whatever. Um, couples get out of the car, um, and the husband will head to the door, mm -hmm. and or the wife, or the or the wife. Um, but in this case, you know, the husband will head to the door. And the wife will get out, and she'll be getting out, you know, a couple of car seats and uh, and a toddler or whatever, mm -hmm. you know. And I'm, I'm thinking, you got to be kidding me! And the husband's just on his way to the on the way to the door, you know. Mm -hmm. and, what? <clears throat> nah, it's I don't know. To me, that's not normal, you know. In, in today's society, in today's maybe it's is. getting that way, but to mm -hmm. me, it just kind of shows disrespect, you know. Um, Give your give your wife a hand. <laughs> you know? um, yeah, this this isn't really an advice <laughs> issue or anything. Just you know, just an observation that. And, and another thing, you know, I see a lot. Same same situation. Um, husband and wife, uh, boyfriend and girlfriend, whatever is going on. You know, one will get out and just head to, um, just head to the door, and the other one's lagging behind. You know, man, you know, what's, what's up with that? Um, and Leah pointed out um, when we were at the store the other day that her and Zebulon were in the store and Simeon and I were about halfway <laughs> across the parking lot. And I'm, well, yeah, it's, Simeon walks about. <laughs> Got little steps. I mean, little it, tiny there's steps. Always, there's yeah, always so exceptions for, for the rule. There is. One person on one of the social media sites that I shared that on pointed out that, um, you know, their husband does not like them to get his plate and mm -hmm. um which yeah, whatever that's fine yeah, yeah. And she she continued to go on that just because it's right for your family doesn't make it right for everybody else and that's that's true, that's true. Yeah. and we never said it was but we are saying that um, there are signs of respect that yeah. is as spouses we can certainly show each other and um there are you know just i guess common norms mm -hmm. you know that there's only so many ways to show the your signs of respect for each other so i guess if you know we use one example and it doesn't work for you know You're just being yeah. polite to one another <laughs> it was after that that uh rj had he said mom i gotta read you this i said okay and he had this little story about this woman um that her husband had worked third shift, third shift. and yeah. it was valentine's day and she had something special prepared for him and he, he was late getting home, and she was worried about it. And so she called him on his cell phone, and he, she said, Are you okay? Where are you at? And he said, Well, I'm at Walmart, and you told me to get toilet paper. And he said, I'm trying to find what, what you want. And she said she hung up, and she, she realized. She said, You know, she said he did not want to be at Walmart getting toilet paper. She had even forgotten that she'd asked him to do that for her. He'd worked all night. Um, what he really wanted to do was come home and relax for a while. And she said, you know, she said that, that taught me that sometimes love is like toilet paper. <laughs> but that was his form of showing respect. He remembered what she had asked. Yep. And even though he could have said, you know what, I work all night. I just want to come home. He yep. still was willing to stop and do stop that. And do it. Yep. Little things without complaining or griping or arguing, uh, remembering things. Yep. You know, when you're asked something little to remember, that's a huge sign of respect. Yes. My memory is horrible. He's taking ginkgo. <laughs> lots and lots of ginkgo. Ginkgo. Yeah. Um, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, just just the, the little things, they, they do add up. Um, or if you don't do them, they don't add up. You well, know, no, they do add up in another way. Well, they do. I mean, yeah. they'll add yeah, up in the, a different... On the negative. You know? yeah. So, mm -hmm. um, it's just amazing back in the... Back in the 90s, uh, we got rid of our uh, television, uh, cable television, you know, stuff. 
Um, but from that point prior, you know, the television shows that we'd watched um, and found humorous, I guess, um, the uh, how they uh, portrayed the the father or husband as a you know bumbling oaf and yeah. and uh, the wife as the overbearing you know whatever and the kids you know just ride all over parents and you know that was back in the early 90s I can imagine what stuff oh. is like today um, yeah just this just boggles my mind um, and and we look at society and it's it's easy to see you know how how people why, why people act the way they do I guess well you know you hear all about this this war on women and the reality <clears throat> is is men are the ones getting assaulted Ma masculinity manhood fatherhood um, husbands are the ones being assaulted you know they're they're looked down upon they're made fun of um, as Ron was saying those shows that you know they basically just made a, a boob out of them um, and you know, it just, it breeds disrespect when children see that. They don't mm -hmm. understand. I mean, children don't, don't understand a lot of what they see, but what they see stays in their hearts and their minds. Mm -hmm. And if they see mom disrespecting dad, um, you know. And if the television or shows or whatever are teaching them. Reinforcing it for you know, them. And that's how they're going to grow up and, 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 you know, grow their families. And, yep. You know. Um. I think it's, I just think, so I, I guess it's all the more important, you know, especially, you know, husband and wife with children. I mean, husband and wife alone, that, it's important, yes, but especially with children. Think about what you're doing. Think about what your little actions show mm -hmm. <clears throat> your kids, you know, because your actions will display to them how much you respect your spouse. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, just uh, the little things that we do, you know, the, with the children, they pick up on, uh, they... <laughs> You know, they, they, they pick are up quick. on it. <laughs> they're, they're, they're quicker than us. That's why yeah. we take ginkgo. Because <laughs> oh. um, they remember everything and we don't. <laughs> and they remind us of that. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. There's a whole book for us. Having toddlers in our late 40s and early <laughs> mid 50s. Yeah. What they get away with because we forgot what because we said. We <laughs> You know, we try not to take each other for granted. Um, some things maybe, like dishing out the ice cream. Or something. Yes, he definitely gets a bigger bowl. Because <laughs> my RJ fingers Josiah, would be bit. You don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they don't see me pack his down in there, so it's, it doesn't look like it's more. Um, oh, that's funny. <clears throat> so the moral of this video. Just fix your husband's plate. <laughs> <laughs> and now throwing it on the table, Adam, does not qualify. <laughs> Open the door for your, your wife or your mother. If you remember her. <laughs> if you remember her. Oh, but the point of this video is just, you know, we can, we can make our home life a whole lot happier by just doing little mm -hmm. signs of respect inside and outside, yeah. you know. Um, you know, like on that rainy day, parking way out back of the parking lot so your wife's got to walk 900 miles to the store <laughs> while you sit inside listening to the ball game. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, well and, and other things, um, and I know, uh, see a lot of... Um, wife, girlfriends, whatever, driving, um, the husband or boyfriend sitting in the passenger side. Um, and maybe they don't have a driver's license. You know, that's, you know, whatever. Um, but, uh, um, you know, pulling up to the gas pump and, and, and the, the wife or, or girlfriend, whatever, getting gas, um, and, and he's sitting in the car. Mm -hmm. uh, now, is he injured? You know, yeah, that, you know, that, Whatever, you know, that can be. Sure, if he is, he is. Um, if he can't get out of the car to do that, that's, you know, one thing. But a lot of the guys I see sure don't look like it. And I know, you know, you, you know, judge a book by its cover, I know. Um, but they sure do look like healthy-bodied males, you know. Especially when they jump out of their car because they see a friend across the... Yeah, 
you know, the park, type, <laughs> parking lot. Thing. Yeah. I mean, there are, you know, there are those exceptions. When Ron had a back injury um, for the first, you know, after his second surgery, he really, I had to drive and get gas, and that was just, yeah. but that was the way it was. He couldn't get out, he couldn't drive, and, mm-hmm. and th- there are those situations, yeah. but, you know, in reality, it's kind of, you take the percentage of people that you see that happening to and the percentage that are probably injured. Mm, you draw your own conclusions. Yep, yep. But, you know, just another example of, you know, ways to show respect. Yep. I mean, we are, men and women are different. Men and women are supposed to be different. That's how God created us. Um, and there are certain certain aspects of respect that go with, yep. with that, I think. Yep, sure. Cool. sure. Well, again, if we've ruffled feathers. Um, Good. <laughs> if we've encouraged anybody, great. If we've re- reinforced anything for you, wonderful. Mm-hmm. We hope you have a great day. God bless. We call the hay mound the diner. Bunnies, the chickens, they all hang out there. I don't know the chickens, just a few, they'll mm-hmm. lay there. Here, funny bunnies. Here, funny bunnies. Come here, guys. Come on. Come here, funny bunnies. Come here, funny bunnies. Come on. Come on, funny bunnies. Come here. You guys are crazy. Come here, babies. Come here, mamas. Come here. Come here, mamas. Come here, funny bunnies. Come here, funny bunnies. Come on. Come here, Flopsy. Come here, Flopsy. Flopsy, come here, baby. Come here, Flopsy. Yeah, had a girl. Hi, honey. Hi, honey. Come here, Flopsy. Come here, bunnies are so much more people oriented from our experience than any cage driver we've ever had. I know, you know, they only love us for the food we give them, but it's nice to have them be social. I caught a rabbit, a chicken, like a couple of chickens lay eggs over here the other day. And I caught them, I, I was walking up to work for a little bit and I said I grabbed the eggs and I came back. When I came back out, I had a Chicken laying on one, like this one over here is doing, and a rabbit laying on the other one. They were like side by side laying. It was really quite hilarious.